What's going on guys? Eric Carlson here from Alternative Energy. Today we are discovering how to cool a garage. And not only that, we're gonna show you how to cool a garage with or without windows. People have different problems and a lot of people are having problems cooling a garage with no windows. So we're gonna go over some ways for that as well. But in general, we're gonna teach you the best way or ways to cool a garage. But really there's only one best way and we're gonna show you that. We're gonna give you a kind of general overview. If you do a Google search here, you'll see that people are searching how to cool a garage with no windows. That gets searched about 390 times per month on average. Uh, that's not really relevant, but it is to what I do. So um, we've definitely put together a guide here, but I wanted to first show you, look, there's this guy ranking in front of us. He has the top 11 ways and you're like, okay, well, this must be the best, um, best source, you know, for uh, information. So let's just check it out. Okay. So he's got a little guide together here and basically showing you how to cool a garage, basically according to are you looking for portable options? Or are you looking for permanent solutions? Because some people just are like, oh, I just want to do a, a fan real quick. Um, just throw a ceiling fan in there. Is that effective? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, not really, but they're going to give you that as an actual option. So let's, you know, talk about these options and tell you why some of them are good. We might, some of them might not work as well. So let's take a look here. Open the garage door. Um, that definitely can work, but if you're in somewhere like Arizona, garage is like 140 degrees, so opening that door, I mean, there's still heat under there. It's 140 outside, too, or, you know, the ground is outside, so that's not really going to be too effective in super hot states, but this can be effective. I've seen people saying this can, you know, lower the temperature in a garage by like 10 degrees or something like that, so it can make it a little more bearable, but this isn't going to be a super effective option if you're really trying to cool the garage, you know? Um, add portable fans. Yeah, that is an option. No doubt. Um, fans will blow that hot air around pretty well. Um, unless you have some kind of cool air in there already, a portable fan is just going to kind of blow around that hot air. It can kind of blow the air over the sweat, which will, you know, um, cool you down naturally. But, um, you know, that's not going to be a super effective option and not trying to down these options. But if you're really trying to cool a garage effectively, this stuff really isn't going to work for you. Try a dehumidifier. This can work in places that have humidity, but in places like Arizona that do not have humidity, um, you know, <laughs> it's like, you know, there's zero water in the air at times, you know, this isn't can't dehumidify the air. And that's what a dehumidifier does. It kind of takes the water from the air and helps cool it around, you know, so that's not really going to be a super effective option. If you do live in somewhere like, you know, maybe Florida, there's super, a lot of moisture in the air. I'm sure dehumidifiers are very popular and that can be an effective option for you. But um, build a low-tech swamp cooler. A lot of people do do this in Arizona. Swamp coolers are very popular. They will put them in their garage. They'll sit there with the garage open, pull out a chair, and just let that swamp cooler cool it right on down. But if you're looking to turn your garage into a heating or cooling workshop, um, a swamp cooler is just not going to be enough. You know, you're going to need something to properly cool the garage, something to uh, properly keep that cool air in, and something to just manage that, you know, on a regular basis. So some of this can be great. Um, buying a portable air conditioner can be an effective option. But, I mean, you are going to have to do a little bit of construction. You know, you're going to have to cut a hole where that vent, because portable air conditioners, you have to have a vent for it to go out. Otherwise, that hot air just blows right back into your garage. I've had one of those myself before. It can be an effective option, and that can cool it. But you have nothing to keep the air in. You don't have any kind of insulation or anything that's going to actually trap that air in and make it a comfortable, just nice, cool pocket. So some of this can be great, but honestly, portable options... It can be effective if you have other permanent solutions as well. He's suggesting to install a garage ceiling fan. That can be effective, but like I said, Arizona, it's just way too hot. You're just going to be blowing around that hot air, and it's just not going to work out for you. Um, adapting a window AC unit, that can work if you have a garage with windows. Well, what if I have a garage with no windows, Eric? Uh, what do I do? You know, you can do something like they set up here where they said um, you can buy a portable air conditioner because like I said, that's cutting a hole into the garage. It's going to go outside and blow that air out there. It'll be still a clean installation. It won't just be a pipe hanging out there. There'll be something on the other end, you know, to finish it. But that air's got to blow out somewhere. I mean, just like your home, you know, the, the hot air blows out somewhere, usually an outside unit. But um, adapting a wall unit or, you know, window AC unit can be great if you have windows, you know, but still you're going to need something to trap that air in, especially if you're going to work in your garage. You just can't 
put this kind of stuff in there without actually putting something that's going to hold that air in. Installing a mini split air conditioner, same idea. This is effective though for garages with or without windows. If you have a garage with no windows, you can still do a, a mini split. A mini split is basically an air conditioner where they're gonna cut a hole through the wall and there's gonna be an outside unit just like you would a central AC unit, but it's just for only for one room. You know, that's gonna cool that garage super effectively. A mini split is actually great because there's a lot of ones that are mini split heating and cooling. So if you're trying to heat or cool a garage workshop, installing a heating or cooling mini split will absolutely do the job, but it's still gonna come down to some type of insulation, some type of radiant barrier that's gonna either keep the heat out or keep the cool air in. It's gonna keep the heat in when it's actually hot out or when it's cold outside. Um, installing attic vents. This is definitely um, a thing that you should think about because honestly a lot of heat comes through the garage attic. Um, that's going to be one of our suggestions actually is not installing attic vents but we're going to be talking a little bit about your garage attic and how we're going to cool that down which actually cools down your overall garage. Adding insulation. Here we go. This is actually getting into actual effective options that are going to keep that cool air in. You need some type of insulation that's going to Hold it, you know, to, to maintain that comfort, to maintain that warm area that you have in there or that cool area you have in there. Since we're talking about how to cool the garage, of course, um, we're talking about keeping the cool air in, but insulation is absolutely needed. And not only that, consider the color. That's, yeah, sure, that's gonna make a ton of difference in AZ. <laughs> but no, insulation, no doubt. And not only that, but you're gonna need a couple other things too. So we put together our own guide here. It includes some of these options down here, you know, but look, we've got all those all the way down here. These are the least effective options you can possibly do. The best possible ways you can cool your garage are going to be install garage attic insulation or garage radiant barrier, um, install a garage attic fan, install garage door insulation, and install a garage air conditioner or aka garage mini split so as you see we have still similar a couple similar options in there but for your garage to be cooled the best way to cool a garage is to do these four things otherwise the, the air is going to get out if you only install the insulation well you have nothing to cool it if you only install a garage attic fan that's going to move the air around in the attic that will cool your garage slightly but not make it comfortable to work in if you install garage door insulation only, still nothing to actually cool the garage. Or if you install only a garage air conditioner or AKA mini split, that's not going to stay cool. You're just gonna end up wasting a bunch of electricity because you have nothing to keep that cool air in. So the most effective way to cool a garage is to put the insulation so whatever you do cool down stays in there. Um, install a garage attic fan so that air keeps circulating up there. Um, you're going to have your radiant barrier keeping that heat from making its way in and any heat that tries to come in is just pushed right back out by that attic fan. And that mini split's just going to sit here and keep this cool in here. And if it, if it goes far enough to where you might need some kind of insulation in the walls, that's effective too. But honestly, insulating the garage door, we've seen this a hundred times where that honestly does the trick. Um, blocking the heat from coming in at the top and putting insulation on that garage door because that's where a lot of the heat or you know cool air if it's cold you know where you're at um is coming in or out that garage door is just not insulated at all it's a little thin sheet of metal or whatever it's actually made out of and it's just not made to um you know block that cool air and keep that cool air from to stay in you know they have they make insulated garage doors now but that's you know that's going to be a whole nother cost you can actually insulate your current garage door with garage door insulation. This is something you can do yourself or you can have a garage door insulation contractor like us do it for you. We actually have a package where we do all four of these for a very affordable price. But here we're going to kind of go into why, you know, why you need this garage attic insulation to keep the heat out. You know, this is going to keep the heat out of the garage. So when you actually start cooling it, um, it's going to stay in there. You know, the average cost um, to put a garage radiant barrier, garage attic insulation is about 500 for a one car garage, about 800 for a two car garage, or about $2 per square foot. So depending on how big your garage is, that, that cost could be higher, that cost could be lower. Um, this is kind of a little breakdown. If you have a 300 square foot garage, this is what it's going to look like. You know, we've kind of did some pricing breakdowns and these are actually, uh, breakdowns of what we would actually do the installations for. If you're in Phoenix, Mesa, Tempe, Chandler, anywhere around the Phoenix area, our company does these installations and we can take care of this whole 
um, this whole thing. We have a, actually have a garage cooling package that we offer that will help you be able to get this done. You can check it out right here. Garage air conditioner, garage attic insulation, garage door insulation, or garage insulation. We can take a look at that here in a second. But you're going to need that radiant barrier to keep that heat out, or at least you're going to need to have some kind of attic fan or something to be moving that hot air out of the attic and continue circling that. Some people won't need that. Some people don't actually have um, attics in their garage. So some people will be able to skip that step. Or if honestly, if you had the radiant barrier, if you have the garage door insulation and you have the mini split, honestly, that's effective enough. But the attic fan is just a way to kick it up a notch, make your garage super comfortable, and you're guaranteed to feel that comfort, you know, and it will maintain it very well. Um, step three is to install garage door installation to seal up the garage. You know, that's what's that's your, your, where most of your heat ends up escaping or most of your cool air escapes, you know, so you just can't keep it cool without sealing up that garage door. Uh, garage door insulation only costs about $100 to install on a single car uh, garage door, $250 for a double car garage door. Come on, guys. Um, uh, these prices are some are affordable and doing so is going to make sure you keep that cool air in your garage This is only the this is the best way if you don't want to cool your garage effectively then don't do it But this is the best way to do it um, Installing the garage air conditioner to, to cool the garage down. Absolutely. That's what's going to force it to get that temperature But the radiant barrier and the garage door insulation is going to seal all that comfort in so it just stays cool Nice and long you're not wasting energy that mini split will literally have to kick on for maybe a couple minutes And then boom you're back to the temperature you want to be at you know, it's going to be a super effective option to cool it down the fastest possible way and this works for a garage with no windows Look, how much does an AC unit for a garage with no windows cost? Installing a garage, these these are about the same amount of money as if you had a garage with windows. You know, we're just calling this out because we know people have specific problems with no windows. But a garage AC unit, you know, you're looking at spending a little bit of money here. But honestly, if you're using your garage as a workshop, a studio, something like that, you're going to want it to be comfortable. You know, you're investing in your future. You're investing in your hobby, whatever your passion is that you love to do in that garage. It's going to make it a lot more comfortable to do so by doing this the most effective way. Like we said, we have all these other ways here, too, that um, are effective ways, but without the insulation, without the radiant barrier, you know, you're just not going to seal that in, you know, and those are things that you can do yourself. You can go to Home Depot right now and buy some kind of garage door insulation, you know, but you're going to have to know how to install it, what to put on if you're doing it correctly. Honestly, just hire someone to knock it out for you, someone who can do it for zero down, offer you financing options to be able to finance the entire project so you can pay it off slowly but surely. You know, and be able to do the job correctly the first time so you can ensure that comfort, you know, from day one. But uh, definitely want to make this video just to show you guys, hey, there are effective ways to cool your garage. This is going to be the most effective way. You can try all those other ways, but just listen to when I said the garage door insulation and the radiant barrier. That's going to be needed if you really want to cool it, especially if you're in a hot state like Nevada, Arizona, or New Mexico, or something like that. But guys, we can do all of this for you. Garage cooling that works, the garage door insulation, the garage attic insulation, the garage mini splits. We do this all over Arizona. We have tons of reviews all over the map for this stuff. Um, we do a great job the first time. You know, our company's been in business for a good while now, helping people um, solve their energy issues. We're a full service energy company, offer, also offering solar and other different energy products for your home that can also save your home money. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I greatly appreciate y'all coming through. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, show other people effective ways to cool their garage. Uh, but I appreciate you guys stopping through. Much love to you all. And uh, see you guys on the next video.